In this video, we're going to learn how to implement a Magic 8-Ball program in Python. So a Magic 8-Ball is a toy, and you ask the Magic 8-Ball a yes or no question, and then you flip it over. And when you flip it over, the Magic 8-Ball is going to present a random response. So the response could be something like yes, or reply hazy, try again, or something like my sources say no. So what we'll need to do is prompt the user to enter a question and then randomly present an answer. We'll import the random module to help us randomly present the answer. Then we'll create a list of the possible answers. So we'll have here answers is equal to, and I'll just paste in the 20 possible answers. So the official Magic 8-Ball game has 20 possible answers. And basically, 10 of those answers are some variation on yes. Five of those answers are some variation on maybe. And five of those answers are some variation on no. What we want to do is randomly present one of these answers to the user in response to their question. So we'll use a loop to continually prompt the user to enter their question until they enter in quit to stop the game. So here we'll have quit is equal to false. And we'll use the Boolean value that quit is set to to determine when to stop the loop. So next, we'll have our loop. We'll have here while with the condition not quit. So, so long as quit is set to false, this loop is going to continue because not false is true. Next, in the loop body, we'll prompt the user for their question. We'll have here question is equal to, and we'll call the input function and pass it the string, yes, no, question, quit, to quit, with a colon, and then we'll have the new line character backslash n, so the user can enter their question on the next line. So the input function is going to present this text to the user to prompt them to enter their question. Then when the user enters their question and hits enter, the input function is going to return the string that the user entered, and we'll assign that string to the variable question. Then we can check to see if the user wants to quit. So if question is equal to the string quit, this means the user entered quit and we want to quit. So what we'll do is set quit equal to true. Now, because quit is true, the next time the loop condition here is checked, not true is going to be false and the loop is going to stop. Otherwise, if the user did not enter and quit, we want to present one of the possible answers above randomly. We can randomly pick one of those list items using the random.choice function. So the random module has a choice function we can access with random.choice. And if we pass it our list, answers, this function is going to randomly return one of those list items. Then we can just output that answer to the user. So here we'll have print with a new line and then answer colon. And we'll then output the answer. And we'll also output a new line after outputting the answer. So we'll have here comma and then a new line here. And this should be it. So we'll save our program and try it out. We'll run it. It says, yes, no question. I'll enter in, will I win the lottery? And I'll get here, don't count on it. Great, thanks Python. What about, will it rain on Saturday? Better not tell you now. And I can quit the program by entering in quit. So this is how we can create a Magic 8-Ball program in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.